what's up fancy seeing you here you join me on my daily weekly my monthly probably yearly run but you know when you're out in the open like i am now it kind of gets the uh, gets the cogs going and you think of all kinds of bollocks one thing that's been crossing my mind recently is you know i want to start vlogging i want to do more of this kind of film that i'm doing now and bringing you along on on what i actually get up to you know doing what i do filmmaking photography wise and with cars and bits and bobs like that. Anyone interested in what? No, probably not. The roundabout way, I've been thinking about, you know, my setup and the settings I'm going to use. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the reason why I've gone with the vlogging settings for my 200D that I have done. I mean, the obvious choice that everyone goes now, oh, I've got to film manual, got to get the look I want, got to get my aperture nice and low in this. And yeah, like 100 million, trillion, gazillion percent agree with that. However, when it comes to vlogging, in a constantly changing atmosphere, when it's not about how necessarily cinematic the actual vlogging, what you're watching now is. And as much as I don't agree with, you know, auto, especially when it's getting dark and things like this, you end up with like really choppy where it's fucking dumped the shutter speed. But then I don't want the manual where you set it and you think, oh, I'll do the whole hand out front, yeah. And you turn around, cloud comes over and that's it. Can No one can see what you're on about. That's why I've gone with using the TV which is shutter priority and what that means is you set your shutter speed and the camera will change the aperture and the ISO to expose the image correctly. So that's what I'm using now. So what that's allowed you to do is so I can set my shutter speed to the 180 degree shutter rule which is double your frame rate so I still get nice motion blur with my hands and what's going on behind me but the image will always be exposed correctly. I'm not overly bothered about whether the background's in focus or not because if it's not then well, happy days then you get that nice cinematic look that we all like um, and if it is then it's great because you can see you can see where I am recognize this from my how to film cinematic location b-roll if you haven't seen that video links below check it out but I've just thought I'd say that you don't always need to use manual video settings especially when you're doing something like filming yourself where you can't necessarily see how the image is looking and trust me you'll regret that when you get back to the computer and it's underexposed or overexposed lost a whole potentially a whole vlog so if you did find this video useful then why not hit the like button down below that really is appreciated and if you want more photography filmmaking lifestyle videos every single week then why not hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i'll just take take photos there's a reason why i don't do that because that's no fun and i'm covered in mud